Good morning. Well, it's uh, Thursday morning, and I am uh, in my new rig. That's all you're gonna see for now. And uh, yeah, I'm super tired. Sorry. Tuesday morning, I got up, went to work. Life is good. I had already been talking to this feller in another province about buying this here pickup truck, and. Uh, Everything's good. I was going to go get it on the weekend. We had this nice chill plan. A good friend of mine, he's got one. Uh, he's needs some parts and he found a part truck in uh, Edmonton. And I found this truck in Calgary and we figured, well, let's get two birds stoned at once and, and go get them both in one shot. So we had this great plan. We we're going to leave Friday night. It's going to be super chill. Well, you know, the COVID restriction thing just keeps popping up everywhere in life. and. They were gonna shut the borders to the province, so that means we had to go right now and hot shot it there and hot shot it back. But uh now I got text messages from my convoy buddy. Um uh, Yeah, so we flew. I'd lost my train of thought and I'm too tired to catch it. Well, it's been a really long two days, but I am now within 10 miles of my house. So when I left my house, I was—I already decided I was buying this truck. So when I looked at it, I looked at it in the frame of mind of, will this get where I need to go? And if not, what do I need to do to get it there? It wasn't like, oh, I'm not gonna buy it or whatever. It was just, I'm, I'm driving this thing. I didn't even test drive it. I'm not even kidding. I didn't even test drive it. I checked all the fluids, had a burnt out headlight. I fixed that, because I'm gonna be, I'm driving it on a temp permit, so. I can't have no burnt out headlights because that's just asking to get pulled over. Even though I'm legit, it's just still, I got no plate, it's a truck, it's a bill of sale, you know what I mean? My temp permit's on my phone. So I didn't even test drive it. And uh, basically when I backed it out of the shop, I knew reverse went. And when I pulled it out of the driveway, I knew it went forward. And when I got to the end of the driveway, I knew the brakes work and I just kept driving. Just kept on driving. So really you could say I test drove it. I just test drove it 1200 kilometers all the way to my house. But, uh, yeah, I, I wish I would have shot so much more video on the way there, but I just, uh, there's just so much going on and I was so overtired already and I haven't really bounced back, although I'm on my like last wind. There's no more winds after this one, but I'm on my last wind right now. But tomorrow morning, we're gonna show you what we got, which I'm just gonna cut to, but it's gonna be tomorrow morning for you, for me. Tomorrow morning for me, two seconds now for you. See, I'm having trouble getting the words out. But, uh, yeah, I'm really stoked on it. It's, uh, she's the right amount of beater. You know, I just, I've determined I just don't even want nice things anymore. I, I never get nice things, and any things that I get that are nice don't stay nice. So I'm just gonna stick to what I know, and that's running beaters. I like running beaters, and, uh, I got me a new work beater. It's gonna be my commuter slash truck. Because I don't have a truck right now. Anyway, I'm stoked. I can't string a, a sentence together, so we're gonna cut it at that. All right, so here we have it. My new to me, almost tripped on the snowbank, my new to me Beater 24 valve. Now she's a regular cab, four wheel drive, long box, I don't think you can get them any other way. And the reason I drove halfway across the country to get it She's a five-speed. I've already got some parts that I know she needs. She puked the pinion seal right out on the way back. I'm guessing because they had a one-way fuel filter for a filter on the vent line. And they got it orientated in such a way that with the check valve and that filter, she'd build pressure in the diff and I, she puked that seal right out. But the good news is there's oil leaking out of it, which means there's still oil in it. And uh, that's how we roll. The reason why I knew she was the one, because she checks all the boxes. Cummins motor, four wheel drive, long box. Long box was not negotiable. There was no way I was buying anything other than a long box truck. A guy is sick to death of not being able to put his four wheeler in the box of a truck without having the tailgate down. Like I'm just, and breaking fishing rods. I am over short boxes. I am all about the long box. And although there's some rust on here, note the factory pinch welds. That's a sure indication 
that she ain't been messed with and sure enough she ain't been messed with it's in pretty good shape there's one spot where I'm gonna have to replace the uh, replace the uh, driver's fender so it's probably pretty loud but the reason why it's running is because I am right now going to attempt I did some reconfiguring I'm gonna see if it fits in the shop according to the tape measure no bueno but you never know because there's overhangs there's bumpers the bumper might end up such where it all works out so we're gonna find out if it fits in here I'm gonna pull that rear drive shaft I gotta change the transfer case output seal and the pinion seal first and foremost it's definitely leaking oil from a couple places not from the front seal on the motor though but rear main looks like it's leaking ever so slightly and the transmission is leaking quite a bit it's a reman tranny in there apparently it's had the uh, fifth gear nut fixed whatever that means and uh, yeah so let's see if it fits too long and I usually have to do like a hoarding with an insulated tarp in order to shut the door which I'm not I'm not above doing that I will if I have to I can get it then if I'm gonna do that then I leave lots of room in the front here and I just let half the truck hang outside and just tuck the tarp in underneath the tires and kind of nail it and strap it to the door frame it's a project I don't like to do that unless I plan on having it in here for like two weeks and plus it makes my heating bills skyrocket well that's a win that's about the worst of the rust there and it's just surface rust so not bad the interior is well half a million kilometer truck door panels loose a couple things I fixed already was the hood latch because the guy's got to be able to open the hood so I fixed that immediately console's got the old elbow wear through Shifter's missing the knob that rattles all day long anyway, so why not? And uh, the dash is mint. Last feller put this dash in. I don't know where he found it, but he found it. But he broke the column cover, so I gotta find one of those. And windshield's cracked. I already got my windshield guy on it. He's quoting me a price. I've put in a couple hundred windows in my time, but I don't have the tool to cut them out anymore and I don't have the deal to get them cheap and I don't have any urethane nor do I have a a gun to put it on like yeah I know you can use a caulking gun but uh, if you've ever used an electric one or an air one where you get the steady flow of urethane coming out it's uh it's a game changer and when it comes to putting windows in with no leaks how good you put it on the window you know pretty much makes or breaks whether your window install goes beautifully so he's going to do that for me but I'm going to flip you around. So, we're going to talk about what's coming up in the future. There we go. We're going to talk about what's coming up in the future and uh, where things are at. So, I bought the Willys because it was a good deal and I've always wanted one. But I've been looking for a truck like this since November. So, this is going to be priority number one. We want to uh, get a truck. I want a truck that's running. I need a truck to do truckly things. 
and uh, so this is going to be the focus of the channel for a little bit. We are still going to do chainsaws, we're still going to do fab work uh, for the next little bit. It's going to be maintaining this truck, and this is going to be like a living, not a restoration, but a rehabilitation. And we're going to make it, because what I want is a really good driving daily driver truck, and rather than spend ungodly sums of money on one of these things that appears to be mint i'd rather just save a little money buy one that's clapped out a little bit and uh, deal with it myself i mean it's rough it needs work but they all need work everyone i looked at needed pretty much the same amount of work this one needs plus a whole bunch of rust repair so i feel like i'm ahead of the game and not that i can't fix the rust i just really hate doing it and uh yeah she's a little rough around the edges but like all the girls from Berta, that's her name by the way, Berta, because that's where she's from. Like all the girls from Berta, she's a nice lady and I'm happy to take her home. Uh, you thought I was going somewhere else. Anyway, that wraps it up for today and uh, thanks for checking it out. See you next time.